Hey everyone, welcome in. I'm Jess. This is Monday, continuing on with our June Asaurus games for the Woo! month of June. Dinosaur themes all over the place. And I am joined by some lovely faces here on stream. I've got over here is Joe, aka Phantom Meeple. Hey Hello, Joe. Hello everybody. Hi, hi, hi. How you doing? <laughs> doing well. And over here is the beautiful <laughs> Benita K. Hello. How are you, friends? I am so good. <laughs> I am so good. It's so awesome to have both of these folks here on stream with me. Let's say hi to folks in the chat. I see Panic Games is here. Hello, Panic. Happy Monday to you, Anne. Hello, hello. Anyone else that's working and lurking, I appreciate you all. Um, if you can let us know in the chat how our audio is sounding, I would appreciate it. Drop those little gremlins or mogwais in the chat. If everything is good to go, the mogwais, please. If there are still some audio adjustments or video adjustments to do, then uh, drop the gremlins and I will try to do some troubleshooting on the fly. Because you know how it is with board game streams. It never is perfect. There's always got to be something happening. Yeah. About that. I, it's like I always say, it's not a real stream without a tech issue. Yeah. yeah, basically. It's like, what can go, like, it's always like usually like something small, but like, yeah. it's just like, it's so hard to like not have something that matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. Anne says the sound is great. She's on the work lurk. You do you, my friend. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Gus is here. Hello. Hello. Happy Monday, wonderful peoples. Hope the week is starting out great. Quaid is here. Hello, hello to you, Quaid. And uh, yeah, everyone just saying hi to everybody in the chat. That's what I want here, friends. We're all a wonderful community, and I am just so grateful to each and every one of my guests, as well as all of you in the chat just hanging out. There we go, Quaid, popping in those mogwais. I appreciate it. <laughs> there uh, we go. <laughs> everything is good to go. So, friends. For those that don't know who my special guests are today, I'm going to have them give a little brief introduction of who they are and what they do in the board gaming sphere, starting with Joe. Joe, take it away. Thanks, Jess. So for those that don't know me, I am Joe, a.k.a. Phantom Meeple. I am a variety streamer here on Twitch. I do video games, both retro and modern, and of course, board games. And uh, I do that a couple times a week, and... You can catch me just about everywhere on Twitch. I am in a unofficial competition with Amanda Panda to be on the most streams during a week. So uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that is a tiring competition, Joe. That, yeah, holy moly. No, we, we, we joked about it the other day. It's like, like we're everywhere except our own channels. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Thanks, Joe, for being here. And Benita, tell everyone folks about you. Hi, my name is Benita Core. I'm a board game Twitch streamer. I stream uh, Mondays and Wednesdays and occasional Fridays and Sundays, though. This summer has been a wild summer, so, like, it is a my schedule is very up in the air, but that is usually when I play. Uh, tonight, I'm actually going to be streaming Carnegie with um, Brandon Najar and Donnie Deathhawk, which is going to be so much fun. Uh, but, yeah, I'm really excited. I am ready to play i got my sheets ready so yeah i was really excited when jess asked me to participate in uh her dinosaur month <laughs> yeah thank you thank you thank you so yes friends like benita said we are playing dinosaur island the roaring right and the lovely moobot just popped in the chat if you want to play along if you don't have a physical copy of the game you can download a phone app which is a companion app for the game. So instead of having the physical player sheets, you can use the phone app like Joe will be using today. And Benita and I are going to be using our paper sheets. Um, mm -hmm. So feel free to download that. Joe said, told me off stream that it takes a matter of minutes to download yep, it very on, quick. on your phone. So please, 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 if you want to participate with us, friends, do so. It is quite a long game. It's going to be we're probably going to fill in the good, you know, 90 minutes to two hours, but I will try to wow. wrap up and get everything kind of going and, and give the teach a, a good, you know, overview. So my guests and you all can understand how the gameplay works. Uh, but yeah, James is here. Hello, my friend. 
Um, and everyone else that's just lurking and lurking, if you don't want to say hi in the chat, no worries. I appreciate you all being here regardless. So, yes, let's get down to this table because, like I said, it's going to be a chunky game. There's going to be you know, a what, lot Can I just happening. say one thing? You know what yes. I realized? So, you know how there's, like, two sheets? Yes. You know that scene in Princess Diary where, like, they make her look better? I put that in air Yes, quotes. they put, like, the... Sh like, <laughs> yeah, in front so, of so, 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 okay. <laughs> Benita, I can definitely yeah. say you are much prettier than two player sheets. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't do that with a tablet. I just got like hey, I'm here. Hi. <laughs> uh everyone's everyone's doing wonderful. I, I love it. I love it so much. Joe, and you are you are a handsome person as well. So <laughs> don't you, let Jess. that don't that. let that iPad <laughs> fool you. <laughs> uh hello to live in dyson la doing the mom lurk well you know you got to take care of those kiddos i understand uh i'm glad we could just be a part of your day today uh james says Hi. i have this and i'm happy to have jess teach me too i have not read the rules well you are in luck james um, because I'm going to be going through how to play this lovely game. And James Yay. wants to compliment your sexy poofs, fancy people. <laughs> yes, the po the poofs are in full effect today. They're actually extra kind of extra poofy today. Extra poofy. Oh, <laughs> you, you got dressed up just for me, Joe. I love it. I, I love it. I did. I did. I dressed <laughs> up my poofs. I'm wearing the merch. Like, I'm set. <laughs> nice. Uh, so sweet. So sweet. Okay, friends. So today we are playing Dinosaur Island Roaring Right. This game is going to take place over three days, which are consistent of three phases in each day. So all told, we're going to be doing nine turns for the game. Okay. Okay. Sounds pretty, mm -hmm. sounds pretty small, but there's actually a lot that goes into each, each turn for, uh, the parts of the day we have here up top. We have these little, uh, dice symbols. Those indicate on that turn, we're going to be doing dice drafting. Um, okay. and those are multiple steps that go into the dice draft. Then when we reach this part of our phases, we are going to be activating our dinosaur park and executing uh, things on our on our park that are based upon this second player sheet. So right now, Benita and friends, I'm just going to be focusing on this first sheet and over here okay. on the main player board to talk through the first steps. So in this first round, we're going to be doing dice drafting. We have a bag, a lovely bag of dice. It's not as cool as a Dinosaur Island bag. I don't know if you've <laughs> seen it. That bag is ginormous. It is ginormous. <laughs> it is ginormous. It is also lime green in the uh, Dinosaur Island one. Uh, but this one is just a nice little red color. It has, a, of course, the chunky dice that you will see from Dinosaur Island in here with the different symbols on it. We are going to roll dice equivalent to the number of players times two plus one. So for a three-player game, we're rolling seven dice total, okay? Okay. Okay. On the dice face, whoever is first player will be able to draft a die first. When they draft the die, they have the uh, they will gain the resources that are on the die face. So, for example, here on this die, you will gain a teal DNA and a red DNA, okay? And I'll make sure to read them out because they are kind of difficult yeah. to see on okay, here. Yeah. And so, okay, Benita, perfect. if you want to have your dice available to you so you can see them up front and close, and then, Joe, I'll make sure to kind of walk them through. So there are DNA that you can gain. There are also coins that you can gain. Coins allow you to be able to purchase buildings as well as extra specialists and some of the, your standard specialists on your player boards here. Uh, but I will explain a little bit on more of the abilities as I go forward. Let me just explain more of the dice, uh, what the die faces are. There are also the die faces that have the uh, attraction symbols. Like here, this is a road. You will be able to draw roads onto your park. Um, and then there's What does also, a road look like? It has the white triangle, Benita. Oh, okay. So and it's got the right little, here? yeah, the white triangle with kind of, it looks like a gray that looks road, like a road in between. Okay. Yeah. So okay. what's going to happen, friends, is each of us are going to draft a die, gain those resources immediately, 
and then we will do we will do snake drafting. So what that means, friends, is whoever's first player is going to choose first, then the last player is going to choose two from that dice pool and circle back towards the first player. Yep. So that essentially we will all gain two dice from the draft and have one left over. With the leftover remaining die, we will all gain the resources as well as the threat of that die oh. face. Mm -hmm. okay. The only way we're getting, gaining threat is from the group die itself. So all the other individual dice that we gain, gain just for ourselves, we don't get the threat, we only get those resources, okay? Okay. Uh, but the group die, everyone will gain the threat. And so you have to kind of, this is kind of where you can kind of sabotage other players if you want to leave a die that has multiple threat on it versus a die face that only has like one Ooh. threat or no threat. Mm. Right? Or you could work together. Or you could work together, <laughs> yes. I will say, I will say there are some players that like to sabotage everyone else. Uh, but just so you know, that's what's going to happen. So you will be able to gain the threat. What happens is on your threat tracker is here. On the left-hand side, it's got the little red shield with the lock in the center. Every time you gain a threat, you're going to put a dot in one of those boxes. I like to call them donut holes because when you gain security, that is when you receive one of those yellow locks, you will circle over one of those dots. Okay, oh. so it's like you're filling the donut hole with the donut kind of thing because sometimes some other folks think it looks like something else and I just like to say they're donut holes and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's stick with that. Let's just stick with that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so once we draft our die, we're going to go into the second part of this first round, which is placement here on the central board. Placement of your die is just you're using the die as a kind of a worker in a, in a sense, okay? You're going to place it on one of these five spaces and take the available action next to that die space. So up here, we've got make up to four dinosaurs, uh, which is the same like in regular Dinosaur Island. You turn in the required DNA uh, from your DNA storage in order to build those dinosaurs into your park, okay? Uh, I okay, would, so question. Yes, when ahead. you take a die, you immediately get the resource on the face, yes. which we mark off on our player board. Yes. And then after we do that, then one by one, we will start using this dice as a worker placement. So they're like multi-use dice, essentially. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, so then what you can make up to four dinosaurs. This one allows you to either gain two coins or take two security. This one gains you two basic dice or one advanced DNA. Uh, not dice, sorry, two basic DNA yeah. or one advanced DNA. This one allows you to duplicate. You gain two of the die face. So if I had a same with the teal and the red, I could gain this and gain two teal and two red while everyone else will gain one, one of each. So that's a help there. Um, and then you can either build three roads or build an attraction. So again, you will place dice here. Now you will see there are only five spaces, but all of us are essentially going to have six total dice. Someone has the ability to stack on top of another die and be able to take that same action. However, whatever die that they cover, they will take that threat of the dice that is covered. Okay, so in okay. this example here, this die has a one threat. And let's say I placed it here to build some roads and Joe wanted to place his dice as well. He will cover it up and he will take one threat because he covered up a die that has one threat showing. So that is kind of like the penalty if you want to if you want to go to a space that has already been taken. Okay. Um, then finally, I will show you at any time you may turn in two coins to gain one advanced DNA or build one road or build, take one security, all right? That could be at any time. It does not require a die to do it. You can just say, I'm gonna take my two coins. Let's say if I roll the two, die, the two coins here, I could say, you know what? I'm gonna take my two coins and take an advanced DNA instead. Um, that can happen at any time. Now, coins are important in that they depend on building your security, your um, your specialists, 
and your extra buildings. You must spend, according to the rules, you must spend your coins immediately on that turn or save them into your DNA, into your uh, storage bank here. However, you will see on your player sheet, there is only five coin spaces uh, to, to gain here. Once you have filled in five coin spaces and utilized them, by spending them for either a building or a specialist or uh, etc you will not gain those spaces back into your storage so let's say i had three i had three coins saved up here and i wanted to spend my three coins to maybe help myself get closer to building one of these buildings these three spaces do not get erased they just get crossed out so then that would only leave me two empty spaces on coins so even though it's kind of a coin storage area, once you fill in that storage area and utilize it, it's done for the game. Okay, I have a question. Yes. So you know like how when you roll a dice, you're getting the immediate resources? Yes. So for like the DNA, I'm assuming we're filling out it right here, right? But you you're will saying fill it out the... here on the storage, yep. Yeah, but we're, but we're not going to do that for coins? You're not. You're going to assign the coins either to one of your buildings here, Benita which corresponds to these buildings here, or you're going to fill it in for your specialists, which are on the second page here, or on one of these specialists here. So you are filling it in immediately. Or if you want to save up, let's say because this one costs five. Oh, you're five. filling it in. Yes. Oh. So okay. for your DNA, you will actually circle the box to gain the dice, but when you use it, you're crossing it out. So the same thing here for coins B, you'll just yeah. circle like I have three coins that are available to me in my savings. And then when I spend them, I'm just going to cross them out. So will you go over where you can do the coins? Because I don't think yes. I fully understand that. Yes, okay, totally, cool. totally, totally. Okay. Uh, Joe, how are you doing, my friend? I am following along so far. Okay. And like, hi, I'm, trying, I see I'm just everybody. trying to find the stuff on the app yes. as you're explaining it. So okay. it's all making sense. Cool, cool, cool. And hello, everybody that's been coming in. I see Duchess here, Eclectic Camel, and L Fire Spray. Hello, 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 friends. Hello, everybody. Uh, I did not, I did not ignore you. I'm just in mid teach. So, but I want to say <laughs> hello and I love you and I appreciate all of you. Okay, so here we go for our spendings. You will see on the middle player board here, we have letters A, B, and C to correspond to our special buildings, as well as our uh, little uh, specialists that we have recruited for the game. These cards get shuffled and they're randomized per game. Uh, and so right now I just chose three basic buildings and three basic specialists for us since we are doing a, uh, a, a generalized game. I'm just going to take these out <laughs> so I can yeah. see play a lot. Totally, <laughs> totally. So up here, Benita, on the left-hand side, there is blue with the wrench. The wrench symbol applies to this section of your player sheet. So you see it says A, B, and C on the left-hand side. That corresponds to building A, building B, and building C. Okay. okay. Now, we will see that the Welcome Center requires eight coins. On here on the player sheet, there are, it shows 10 available coins. So what it tells you to do in the rules, which helps you in the game, is they want you to color in the unused coins so that it's only visible for the number of coins that are required for that building. Okay. Oh, okay. So eight is for the welcome center. Six is for the deluxe break room. So I'm going to fill in these for here. They're not going to be utilized for this building and the security hub is also eight joe i know i'm not sure if you can do that for the app but i'm sure it probably limits the number of coins you can chuck at a certain building it it, do, it does it all for you if if, uh, if you have the ability to go over to the app i can show you what it looks like beautiful let me do that all right go for it joe yeah so so there you go so there's buildings a b and c and then on the left there it's already got the coins delineated on the left side there beautiful so there you go, friends. You can see if you're following along with the app, it shows Welcome Center is only eight coins, Break Room is six, and the Security Hub is eight. Thanks, Joe, for that. Of course. Perfect. Uh, yeah, okay. that's a pretty good app. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really handy. As Jess is going through this and I'm looking at everything, I'm like, this is it's really, really well done. Perfect. 
So, Benita, we're going to do the same thing with the specialist, but we're going to look on page two, okay? So, okay. we've got Master Chef is worth four coins. So, I'm going to fill in this last one because each of row shows five. The specialist B for the DNA mixologist requires all five coins. So, I'm going to leave that one as is. And then the herbivore researcher requires four coins. So, I'm going to fill in this last little box here. Yeah, I'm like setting, basically setting up this board for myself <laughs> so I can like look along Yeah, as well. Yeah, so that's where the coins go. So if you decide to roll your coins, Benita, or yeah. you gain two coins from the center, you can say, I'm going to allocate these two coins to help me get my welcome center. So I'm going to check off one, two coins here and circle them immediately on that building. And once yeah. you achieve it, once you achieve it, meaning once you have filled in all the coin spaces required for that building, you will fill in this dot over here. And down below, it has the stars. Stars are your victory points. So you want to make sure that you have the victory points allocated, but that's for end game scoring. So what it tells you to do is once you fill in all the coins required for that building, just fill in this dot to let you know you have activated that building. Yeah. Then you're going to be drawing it into your park, okay? There okay. are rules, restrictions based upon parks and everything, uh, and I will explain that as we go along. So, same thing applies for our specialists. Once you fill in the required the required uh, coins, you will fill in that little bubble next to it to say that you have activated that specialist, and you will gain the bonus for it. You will see... Now, I will also mention on these buildings and as well as on these specialists, there are these pink lightning bolts. Those are immediate effects, immediate bonuses that you will gain right away. And then there are some that happen when you launch your tour. So, for example, for the Master Chef, immediately you will gain one excitement for him. And then every time you launch a tour, you will gain an advanced DNA per food stand in your park. Okay. So let's go through and talk about how do we draw things into our parks. We will, you will see that some of these buildings have certain polyomino shapes, then as well as your dinosaur pens themselves have certain shapes on there. What's going, to, excuse me, what's going to happen is when you decide to build a, or make a dinosaur, you've got the, you got the required DNA. Let's say I've got a yellow and a red and I want to make this Brachiosaurus, okay? I will cross off my yellow and my red DNA. And the shape for the dinosaur pen is indicated at the top of each of these columns here. So my Brachiosaurus is going to be a two by two square. Now, placement is matters in that you must place somewhere in your park that is not orthogonally or diagonally touching another building including your oh. HQ. So I could not do this. That is a no-no. I could not do this. That is also a no-no because it's diagonally touching my HQ. I must have at least a space in between when you draw your building. So why does that matter? Because we're going to build roads. We're essentially oh. giving people a tour and you need to drive to those buildings, right? Yeah. However, there is an exception. You are able to draw your buildings right up against an exit. That is a legal placement. Everything else has to be at least one space away. Okay. Okay. And then can you, um, like, just start and can you build anywhere on your thing? You on can your, build you anywhere have? that you want be. And then when you launch your tour... Your tour is always going to start at your HQ and follow roads connecting through the various buildings and attractions in your park and will go out an exit. Okay. I don't know what that means by launching your tour. Launching your tour is whenever we are in this round with the arrow. The arrow for launching your tour means we're going to go over to the second page and we are going to go through these five steps of the tour process. Okay. So when we do launch a tour, what's going to happen is we're going to take each of these steps and go through them. And how that's going to work is first, 
we are going to gain any bonuses that we get from our attractions. If we have any merch stands, we will fill in the merch stand bubble here and we will gain one die that we can roll and get the resources that are available that get rolled there for every merch stand that we have placed in our park. And again, they can be placed anywhere in your park, but with the same rules restrictions that they can't be touching another building. Uh, for a ride, you can gain one excitement, which is here down in this area. You will circle the next corresponding square for the ride. You will gain one excitement for every ride in your park. And then for every food stand, you will gain one coin for each food stand. And again, the coins are the same thing. You can apply them immediately to a specialist or to a building, or you can add them to your storage to be utilized later um, for like an all, all inclusive dump on buying something right away. Wait, Jess, I have a question. Yes. 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 Um, so like on these sheets where, what are these circles underneath the merch ride and food stand? Why are these four circles? What does that mean? Um, it shows you how many of that, of that, uh, building that you have built. So let's say. Oh, that okay. Rolled... So like you can, so like, for example, like underneath the brachiosaurus, you can only build this dinosaur four times. Uh, you can, however, you have up to, um, you can build up to, I think it holds four dinosaurs in one pen. I think that's what the bubbles mean. You can have four dinosaurs in one pen, but let me double check on that. Cause I know you don't have to draw multiple pens because one pen can hold a lot more dinosaurs than we think. Oh, okay. That, I was just about to ask that. So you're just building the pen, but you can make multiple dinosaurs in that pen. I believe so. And let so I'm just going to double check and make sure that it shows how, you. Where, when are, how are we building pens? I think I missed that part. So whenever you decide to make a dinosaur, yeah. uh, you will be drawing the dinosaur pen shape based on the type of dinosaur that you want to make. So it's not a two-step oh. process. Once you make a dinosaur, you automatically have a pen for it. So, okay, dead, Deadpan does confirm with me four dinosaurs per single paddock, yes, or pen. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, like, let's say if I want to do the Triceratops, the green pen is, like, four shapes. So I would draw the pen, that square, because the shape is a square, yep. and then I can put in four Triceratops. Correct. Yes. Okay. Correct. How do I indicate that there's four triceratops in there? Uh, so you will put, like, let's say here, I did this for the triceratops. I will label this T for the triceratops pen, and I will fill in this bubble to say there's one triceratops in there now. On a future turn, if I want to build another triceratops, I will just fill in that bubble, turn in that DNA, and I don't need to draw a new pen because currently there's still space in that one that I've drawn. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's how you indicate that. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you, Deadpan. There's a lot going yeah. on in this game. Yeah, <laughs> see, that's what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So I will, I will try. Like I said, though, as soon as we start, it'll ramp up. And it'll make more sense. Okay. So here, what you were saying, B, when you roll the die, let's say you've got a die and it has the um, the attraction for like the food here. So I decide to make a food attraction. I immediately, when I gain that resource, I immediately will draw this shape and it could be mirrored. It could be rotated. It, same thing like in regular Tetris. So you can flip it, all that kind of stuff. When you build it somewhere in your park, you will fill in this little bubble here. So okay. then when you launch your tour, remember that's whenever you see the arrow, mm -hmm. you will gain one coin for every dot that you have. So that means for every food stand that you have, you will gain a coin. Okay. So the same thing with the merch. When I draw a merch stand, I will fill it in here. And then when I launch my tour, I will roll one die for however many merch stands I have and gain those initial resources right, right away. And then the same thing with the excitement there, okay? Okay. So that's step one of your tour. Step two of your tour is you will activate any specialist that's here, any of these basic specialists, as well as any of the specialists here on the central board that you have activated. Again, you will exchange three coins in to activate these basic specialists and the number of coins here for this the uh, 
the, the central board specialists, then you will do those actions and then take the advantage of whatever their tour abilities show you. So whatever the arrow shows you there. Okay, so security chief means as soon as I bubble in the, th the three coins, mm -hmm. I can do the two, like, keys and stuff, the locks. Also, why is there, like, an empty circle next to the security chief, tour guy, and junior scientist? Uh, because it'll show you you have turned in those three, and so this tells you that you now have a security chief activated. And I can I can forever use you the ability. You can forever use him. Yes. Well, I, mean, I guess they're they're only when they're on tour. It seems like. Uh, but you also gain the immediate effect for them. Right. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. So that's what we'll do. Your specialists. Same thing here with these specialists. Then you will go from your HQ. You will gain an excitement for each unmarked building that you go through. Oh my goodness, we have a raid. Thank you, No Soul, No Ooh, Props. We got a raid. Welcome hey, in, hello. friends. I appreciate you all ha hanging out with us today. I'm Jess. I'm joined by Joe and the lovely Benita. We are going hello. through the rules for Dinosaur Bye. Island Roaring, right? Hope you all are doing good today. Thanks so much for the raid, Ben. I appreciate it. All right, so we've got our HQ. We will gain one excitement for each new building that we go through. So let's do let's do a brief little tour here. So let's say I've got, I'm just going to do this here. And then I will have myself a ride because that's how I roll here. I'm assuming there has to be, like, I could have attractions, but if I have no roads, then it doesn't count, right? It does not count because you're going to go through your, your tour based on the roads that always start with your HQ and going through new stuff. So and then, go ahead, B. So like how long can roads be? Uh, whenever you draw a road, it's always a one square. It's always a one square. So here you will draw three squares of a road. Roads are considered either from side to side, just a straight line, or they can curve. Oh my God. So like if I want to like, do you like it's like the way you did it it's like three squares i'm gonna have yeah. to have three road symbols correct okay so it's like really hard to build roads correct so okay. it helps you <laughs> to know so this is really valuable there's also really a lot of valuable valuability to here as well as doing this duplicate action as well yeah got it okay, okay. so let's say i'm doing my tour i'm starting at hq i've gone here one building two buildings and out this exit so i will gain to excitement because I've gone through two brand new buildings, okay? In the future, let's say I've got this here and I've got a giant, I've got a giant T-Rex bit plan. And for my next tour, I go one, but I've already seen this, so I don't get any more excitement. The people are bored with it. But two, I gain here and go out this way. I would only gain one additional excitement for that new tour because I've only gone through one new building. Oh, okay. interesting. So, so people just want to see new things constantly. Yeah, I mean, we're at high demand here in this dinosaur park. So it's, uh, yeah, you got to make it excitement. You got to make the excitement thing happen. Okay, so we do that. We go through our parks. We have the... Each row can only connect two sides of the box. Oh, so you can like have a, you can have like a three so or it's four only a straight it's there. only a straight line or only a single curve yep thank you deadpan Ooh, okay so yeah so just just a rem reminder of that then what we do friends here after we drive through our parks go through a, out an exit we count up our excitement so as we're accumulating excitement here or maybe from our buildings or things of that nature when we build our dinosaurs you will see Whenever you see a green triangle, that's an excitement. You will circle the excitement onto your tracks here. Then when we go through our dinosaur tour and we reach step four, we will be able to gain those added resources immediately based upon the excitement that we have. So let's say I had these three excitement circled. I would gain an immediate one basic DNA and one coin immediately. And those okay. accumulate. So the more excitement you build throughout the game, the more stuff you can get. Oh, so we're going to be getting that oh, stuff okay. every single every time. Every single time. Every single wow. time. So you want to okay. build excitement in your park. You want things to be happening. Okay. And then finally, it wouldn't be a dinosaur park without death. So <laughs> we have course. our death toll. If our death toll means that we have more threat than we have 
um, security, meaning we have more donut holes than we have donuts, we will count the difference and indicate here the death. Once we reach an exclamation point, we have to do one of these penalties, which would mean erasing a, a canceling or destroying, it says, a dinosaur pen, which means like if I had my T-Rex pen here and I put R for Rex and let's say I died, I had too much death, I would have to build this pen. Actually, what I do is I don't erase it. I do this. I destroy it. So it's all rubble. So I cannot build over that section again until I have, uh, until I have enough, I would have to build a completely new T-Rex oh, pen. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So okay. it's like under construction, destroyed, rubble, grossness. So I, it seems like you could choose what you do? You choose what you do. So here is either destroy three roads. The next one is destroy an attraction. This one is destroy four DNA of your choice. And then Ooh. this one is to, you basically fire one of your specialists. Ouch. You're just like, all right, peace out. So you don't want wow. the people, you don't want people to die. Uh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so we'll do this again. We're only launching our tour three times, friends. So remember that. We're only launching it three times. Um, so we're doing two dice phases where we're gathering resources. We're building out our park. Then we're going to launch a tour. That's day one. Day two, gathering more resources, drafting our dice, building up our park, launching another tour. That's day two. Day three, same thing. Gathering resources, drafting our dice, building out our park, and then we do a tour. Okay? Okay. Okay. There we go. Yes, and the other thing too, Deadpan, with those destroyed buildings, your connected exits won't score you points at the end of the game. You have to redraw those roads to them, so uh yeah so <laughs> welcome to dinosaur island roar and right uh okay any further questions before i go on uh yes so if i'm making like a triceratops is it like one excitement and two points per pen or per no, dinosaur per dinosaur okay okay per dinosaur and now since we've got that uh joe question do you have any questions Nope, I think I'm good. Okay, so all of us at the start, we will all receive three basic DNA. Okay. Now, since I will be first player, I do not get any bonus DNA. Uh, Joe, you are going to be player two because how I visually see us in the stream. Okay. So, Joe, you are going to gain one teal DNA as okay. well. And then Benita, you will gain one purple DNA as well. So you will teal gain teal and purple. Or... Teal and purple, my dear. Okay. So you will have five DNA. Joe will have four, and I only have three. So we're circling the DNAs because when we use them, we do a check mark. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Here we go. Round one, everybody. And I'm grabbing out seven dice, and then I'm going to roll them, okay? There are, we always put in all ten dice, but we only draw seven because it's two times the number of players plus one. All right, here we go. We have got, Benita, a blue, die, a blue DNA with three threat. A road plus a coin with one threat. And I will leave these here on the table so you don't have to worry about uh, trying to find them if you don't want to. A teal DNA with two threat. A yellow DNA with three threat. A road with three threat. A purple and a red DNA, no threat. Thank you, Luna. I appreciate you, my dear. And a road with three threat. So it would behoove me to take one of these dice that has three threats. So that way, none of us have to take that penalty, right? So I am going to take this one here that has a road with three threat on it. And remember, when you're recruiting dice just for yourself, you only take the resource. You don't have to take the threat. 
So, because you have nothing like on your board, do you have to immediately like build, draw the roads, or can you like store I, roads? I don't have to. I can always store it here next to my coins. But the same rule applies. Once I store it and use it, it doesn't fill. It doesn't free up my storage anymore. My gotcha. storage was occupied. So, but I am going to because I feel like it would help me for my dino tours. So I'm already going yeah. to draw my road. All right, Joe, my friend, which die would you like? And I can read them out again if you want. Uh, yes, please, because they are super tiny. <laughs> so we've got a blue DNA. That's the basic blue DNA with three threats. Okay. We've got a road and a coin with one threat. We've got a teal DNA with two threats. Mm -hmm. A yellow DNA with three threats. Mm -hmm. A red and a purple DNA. Or a road with three threats. Ooh, red and purple might not be bad. I think I'm going to do that. I'll take the red and the purple. Okay, so you're just going to fill those in on your player sheets. Okay. All right, B. Okay, so I got a blue with three threat, teal with two threat, a yellow with three threat, a road and a coin, and a road with three threat. Yes, and the road and the coin one, Benita, has one threat on it. Hmm. Who? These are like not great options. I like know. the three threat is a lot. <laughs> it's not, it is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like what's going on here? Um. I will take. I will take uh, the road and the one coin. Okay. And then because I feel like I need help us out, I will take the um, yellow with three threat. Okay. So and remember, you're not taking else... those threats. Remember. Right, right, right. I just don't want us to be stuck with it at the end. Correct. All right, Joe, back to you, my friend. We've got blue, teal, or a road. Okay. And that, and that blue's got three threat on it, you said, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's take that. We don't need that much threat. All right, and then finally for me, I'm going to take the other road with two threat, but I'm going to save it. So all of us now, we get a teal and two threat. Okay, teal and two threat. Which is not terrible. Okay, that's our group die, so that's going to go away. Now, starting with us, um, we do each do a placement. It's not snake drafting this time. The worker placement is just in clockwise order. So I'm going to place first. We draw the roads on line on the lines of the squares, right? Correct. Okay. One square size, one square size. So I'm going to I'm going to do this here, and I'm going to give myself two coins. Two coins. I feel like I am going to try to go for my deluxe break room. So I'm going to circle two coins immediately on building B. All right, Joe, take your uh, take one of your dice and tell me which one you want and where would you like to place it. Okay. Do I want to make dinosaurs this early? Wouldn't be a terrible thing. Mm hmm Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna make we're gonna make some dinosaurs. Okay, which die would you like to uh, use? In? Use the blue one with the three threat. Ooh. Okay. So if either myself or Benita goes here, we would accumulate three threat. Okay. So, so you can what? go ahead and start building out okay. your dinosaurs. It's up to four, Joe. So you don't have to. Yep. Got it. All right, Benita, my dear. Um, let's see. I'm going to put my, I guess the, I guess I'm confused in the sense of how to build stuff. So like, okay, Jess, so like I had yes. a road from one of my dice, so I'm just drawing it on the line itself, right? Uh, so it's going to go inside the box itself, B. 
Oh, inside the box. Yeah, so it's kind of it's kind of difficult to see, but mine is actually inside the box. Okay. So by so I just need to figure out where I'm kind of like moving it to. Yeah. And again, you can always just save them up too. And then when you start building out dinosaurs, you can build out a pen. Let's say you want to build out a pen here and you're like, I need roads to connect to it. Oh, sweet. I've got a few roads saved up. I'm going to bloop, bloop, bloop. And okay, then I'm just going to save up the road because I don't know where I'm building that one. Um, the inside the pen is throwing me off. Okay, um, I'm going to... Let's... Let's build an attraction. So I'm going to use my three threat yellow dice one, this one. Okay. And we're going to build an attraction. So I don't, I don't need to, like have anything to build the attraction i can just build the attraction right yeah so you will choose you will choose one of these and then you will fill in the dot for whatever attraction you decide to build and i can have it right next to, this is the only time i can have it next to the hq or no it cannot be next to hq it has to be at least one space away it can be right butted up against an exit okay okay so i'm gonna build a food okay all right, I'm going to let you do that while I do my next one mm -hmm. here. So I am going to, I'm going to take some advanced DNA here. Oh, so can we mirror these shapes? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Mirror, flip, rotate, all that good stuff. All right, Joe, with your okay. final die, sir. With my final die. Uh, how, much, how much threat is on the build die there? This one uh, is three threat Benita put on there. Oh, woof. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, says Benita. Yeah, you're, you're not sorry. Don't, don't give me that, Benita. Uh, that was definitely strategic. <laughs> not great. All right. Um, I, think, I think I'm going to duplicate for my last one. All right. So... You will gain, Joe, two more red and two more purple. And then, Benita, you and I will gain one red and one purple. Ooh, thanks. Okay. And for your final die, Benita, where would you like to go? So which one has the least threat? Uh, this one has no threat on the duplicate. Duplicate has no threat? Okay, yes. and yeah. I will duplicate, which is uh, my one road, one coin. So I will get two roads and two coins. Correct. And Joe, you and I will get one road and one coin. Cool. So, so I'm going to do one coin here and one road here. Uh, yes, Deadpan, thank you. You can draw against the exit and the outer walls. Oh, yes, that's right. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. So you can, uh, sorry friends, you can butt up against a outer wall of the park for your buildings, but they just cannot be uh, touching each other. Okay, and then Jeff, with the coins, you basically just spend them as is or save them? Correct. Okay. Correct, correct. <laughs> and that is our first drafting phase. So then all of these go back. And I will give you all a minute. Uh, then, Joe, you're going to be first pick of the draft here. But that is that is the first phase of day one. So we're just going to um, do this. So I time. just unlocked the security treats. So I had three coins. So now yep. I get to Immedi it. Immediately circle two threat. Okay. Fill in those donut holes with the donuts. And make sure you bubble in next to your security chief, B. Like that I, I've done it? That you activate him so he's permanent for you now. Okay. All right. Uh, I, okay, so, so I have one more row question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, All of your questions okay. have been real questions, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I have this the food stall here yep and then i put in this two thing i i want it i need to connect to the hq for the the going on tour thing correct but like it's gonna have to be a 90 degrees one that's still one road right because yes. it's 
Yes. Because it's in one box? Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. All right. There we go. Next round. Joe, you are our first choice, my friend. All right. We have a road with three threats. We have a merch stand with one threat. Next, a red DNA with three threat. Holy crap, I'm rolling a lot of threat. Sorry, friends. Uh, <laughs> a single coin with two threat. An orange and a yellow DNA with one threat. A security or a teal DNA with one threat. And finally, a red with three threat. Mm, Oops, that's a okay. single red with three threat. Okay. Oh, and my ouch. app just crashed. Wonderful. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Is it going to save your spot? I hope, I hope it does. Otherwise, I need to, like, Uber do this really, really fast. Okay, hold on. Let me catch up real quick. Yeah, yeah, take your time. Because I need to... Uh, yeah completely reset everything I had. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. Then I had a purple... Uh, while red. Joe's doing that, Jess, purple. you want to tell me which... What are the dice again? Because I am I got... So I got the red a DNA with three threat, a road with three threat, a merch stand with one threat, mm -hmm. a one coin with two threat, mm -hmm. and then a orange and a yellow DNA? Yes, orange and yellow on the same die with okay. one threat. Okay. And a security or a teal with one threat. Security and a teal. Hold on. Let me find that. Okay. It should have okay. a slash. Yeah. And then again, another single red with three threat. Ooh, these are not good options here. <laughs> I, know. I know. I apologize. I apologize. Everybody knows the uh, the dice curse that I have here on this game. Okay. So, um, I'm almost caught back up. Yeah. Take your time, Joe. It's all right. No, yeah. no worries, my friend. We're fine. And if anyone has any uh, questions in the chat, let us know. Or if you want to play this on the VOD, I'm going to pop in the chat as well the link to the Pandasaurus website where you can download the phone app, which actually is just digital player sheets. Uh, mm -hmm. You will need the physical game, so you will be playing along with the dice rolls and whatever specialists and extra buildings that you're going to be using, but instead of having the paper sheets, you can use the digital sheets there. It's pretty okay. cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Then do that. Okay. All right. I think I'm caught up now. Okay. What are my choices again? I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Ooh. Road, three threat. Merch, one threat. Red DNA, three threat. Coin, two threat. Orange and yellow, one threat. Security or teal, one threat. And red, three threat. Uh, I will take the security or teal. Okay. All right. Bonita. And you, and you just say or, that's not both? Correct. Okay. Security. I will, I will take the orange and yellow. Okay. And now it's going to be snaky snake draft to me. I will take some merch. Merchy, merch, 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 merch. Merch, 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 merchy, merch. And I will take a coin. So I am doing merch stand here. Merch. I'm going to do one, two, three. I will take the road. Okay. Because that's a three threat and I don't want that. <laughs> All right. B's got the single road there. All right. And so, Joe, do you want one red DNA with three threat, or do you want one red DNA with three threat? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough choice. Can I say? <laughs> can, I, can I say neither and call it good? <laughs> can I choose pass? Yeah. Can I choose pass? <laughs> okay. So all of us will gain 
uh, an additional red with three All threat. Right. So I'm getting oh. two red and then three more threat. Great. Yeah. This threat business is nonsense. I know. I know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. All right, Joe, you get the first place. Where would you like to go? Um, I would like to raise some funds, please. And I will use the red die with a three threat for that. Oh, okay. Wah, 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 Benita. Um, I will take my one road with the three threat uh -huh. and make up to four dinosaurs. Okay. Okay, so because I have I haven't played this game before, I'm, can I can I just talk my turn up for a second? Of course. So of course. I want to make dinosaurs. I want to yeah. make let's say the Brachiosaurus, right? Yeah. So I'm going to draw this four by four pen wherever I want to. It's a yes. and then I'm going to turn in build... a yellow and a red. Yeah, and I can do that up to four times, and then how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put like a B on the in the pen and then if I want to make up to like I can make up to three so I would just like kind of like fill out three dots on the thing you will yeah so if you're making three brachiosaurus you'll fill in the three dots right here yep okay so I can only ever make four in this whole game uh unless you make a, a whole new pen but yeah most likely it doesn't you the it goes too quickly for you to the amount of dinosaurs and pens that you will have um, oh, you can, but the thing is, like, how would you even, like, show that you ha are building more, right? Because, like, there's only, like, four dots next to the, the Brachiosaurus. Right, so you would only, I believe... You I can only have one pen of each according to the I pen. Think, yeah, I think yeah, you can only have sense. one mm, Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so you would have a total of three yellows and three reds, B, right? If you're going to make those three... Yeah. Sources? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. That's back. That's Benita. That's me now. Um. Hmm. Ugh. Jeepers. Both of you. Both of you. I have words. I have words to say. I have words. Did um, we? Did we? Did we do something wrong, Jess? No. <laughs> No, it's fine. Everything is fine, friends. I'm going to do this and give myself two coins, but I'm going to turn them in ex uh, right away and give myself a security. So you all gain a coin. Woohoo! Thanks. Yeah. So generous, Jess. I know. Yeah. I know, right? Thank you, Deadpan. Yes, so he's saying you can only have one pen of each dino type in your park. So for the Welcome Center, is it two points per dinosaur or two points per pen? It is two points per dinosaur, I believe. I will double check that. Building cards. Welcome center. Uh, per, oh, I'm sorry. It is per paddock, so per pen. B. Okay. It's per pen. And you just gave us a coin. Is that what you just did? Yes, we I did. We did just get a coin. Nice. We did just get a coin. All right, Joseph, back to you. All right. Um, I am going to build some roads. All right. Hmm. Pen equals hex, dino equals circle. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh, I see it. Okay, so see, this is in a circular pattern. That means dinosaur. And then this is a hex shape, so that means pen. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Look at you, deadpan. Man. Uh, oh, deadpan is MVP in the chat right now. Yeah. yeah. He said he got to play this recently, so he's got it fresh in his mind. Awesome sauce. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I want everyone to feel like they can help clarify rules because I want you all to, you know, um, be able to play it on future rounds. So, all right, B, where do you want to go, my dear? Well, I want to go to the free one. So, extract DNA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want threat. Yeah, I don't want threat. Ah, <laughs> uh, boo! Uh, you don't. You don't say. Yeah. Boo Shockingly, I don't want threat. Boo to the urns. All right. Well, I'm going to. I'll just take a threat. Fine. I will take a threat, and I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a. I'll build a food stand. 
Yeah, you take that threat. Better you than us, Jess. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Food stand. There's too much threat right now. There is I know. I'm, too much I am not right a fan. Now. <laughs> food stand. Where am I going to do with this food stand? I'm going to do this like this. One, one, two, three, four. Like this. Food. All right. So that concludes our second draft phase. So now we are going to launch our parks. We are not drafting any more dice because if we're completing our first day, we are recruiting people and going on our park day. So we're going to go specifically to our second page here, friends. So first, step one, we activate all our attractions. So if anyone has any merch shops built, let me know and I'll roll a die for you. Joe or Benita, do you have any merch to do? I, I do not. Okay, I do. So I'm going to roll and I get a blue and a coin. Oh, sweet. So I get a blue and a That's coin. awesome. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> if anyone has any rides. I do not. I do not. Okay. If you did, you would mark one uh, attraction per ride. Now with your food stands, you will gain a coin. Okay, I have a food stand, so I will gain... I have one food stand, so I'll gain yeah. one coin. I did gain a coin, so that actually activates my building B. So I have my deluxe break room. Nice. Which I will build, and I immediately gain an, a ride. But since I'm already past that phase, I will it will activate on my next tour. So I will draw this building first. And then I will draw my attraction. So give me just a sec, friends, while I mm -hmm. do that. It's a five square line. One, two, three, four, five. Do, 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 do. D, B, R. Deluxe break room. Rad. And then I do a ride here. I will build my ride. Uh, like this. One, two, three, one, two. This is a ride. Ride. All right. Then, since we've got step one is already done, we do step two. So, Benita, you've got your security chief, my dear. So you get right. an additional security. Nice. Uh, and Joe, if you have one as well. Yep, that I do. Okay. So give yourself one more security. If you had the tour guide, you would gain two roads. And if you had this junior scientist, you can make up to two dinosaurs. I don't have any specialists right now, so I'm kind of... I can still activate it on step one. Oh, I can? I didn't think I could because it's kind of like after the fact. All right. Well, I will I will trust Deadpan because he's probably got the rules <laughs> right in front of him. So I'll just gain it. Sure. Sure, I'll gain it. Yeah, that. why not, right? Yeah, why right. the heck not? Okay. So we've got our specialists. If anyone has to activate their specialists over here, uh, go for it and do that. I don't have any of those yet. No, uh, me either. Joe, do you have any of these specialists yet? Nope, I do not have any of those. All right, so then we're going to start with our HQ. So I'm starting here. I gain one, one excitement for this, and I don't have any other uh, exits because I did not connect my merch shop so it does not go out and exit. It just dead ends here at the food. <laughs> so I only gained one excitement because I only went to one building and I did not make it out and exit. So like our Jeep stalled and ran out of gas at the food court, basically. <laughs> okay, so I let me, I'm going to show you mine. Yep, go for uh, it. This is the wrong one. <laughs> uh, this one. Yes. So I was able to connect the, the Bronco, the the dino, dino pen, dino pen, yep. and the food. Yep. So I mark off both because I can't count on the next round, but that's two excitement. Correct. Did you make it out to an exit? I did make it out to an exit. Okay, so circle that number, whatever the number is in the purple star, and you will gain those bonus points at the end of the game. But yes, you are correct. Two excitement for those two new buildings. And because it's two excitement, I get one basic 
research. Yes, so now since we've done our dino tours, we're going to go to step four and gain whatever resources we have circled. Nice. Joe, how you doing, my friend? I'm good. I'm trying to figure out how to run this tour on the app because it is not working for me. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you, like, click the order of your buildings, maybe? Oh, no, there's, 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 like, there's like a button that says run tour, but it's actually not running. So I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Yes. Or do, so you, like, or do you have to, do you have, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Benita. No, go ahead, Joe. Oh, do you have to have a complete road to run a tour? No. Okay. I just wanted to make sure maybe that's why it wasn't letting me do it. No. Uh, Benita? Yeah. So, you know, like how for the dinosaurs, there's excitement numbers. When do those excitement numbers come into play? As soon as you build those dinosaurs. Oh, so okay, I did not have. So you have it... one Brachiosaurus, so you should have an additional excitement for that one. So is it one? I have three of them. So is so it you per should pen? have three more excitement. Nope, it's okay. three per dinosaur. It's three per dinosaur. Okay, or one per dinosaur, so you would have one three per. Yeah, total. right. Yep, yep, yep. And I get to get everything that's mm -hmm. marked out. Correct. Which is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, Joe, it says your tour may end at a building or at any park exit. So, okay. Is it doing it for you? No, it's it's not. Eh. So do roads actually have to connect to buildings? Yeah. Uh, so they have oh. to connect starting from your HQ. But then does the road have to connect to a building? Yes. Oh, then that's okay. Then I did that wrong. Okay, so I don't have a road connecting anywhere. That's why it's not running. Okay. Can you, will it allow you to like click to the next step? No, because I didn't realize you had to connect to buildings. So that's completely my fault. All right. At least I'll get some excitement stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's go yellow. All right. So we've got our excitements here. So yeah, make sure if you've got any dinos, make sure you've got any the excitement and then any numbers that you've circled here, you get these additional resources. And then the fun part, death. Yay, death. Yay, death. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five death. Two, three, So how do we four, calculate five. death again? You take the number of security uh, subtracted from the number of threat that you have. So, so I, I have, currently have six okay. threat. I have six threat, Benita, but I only have mm -hmm. one that's secure. So I have minus five. So I have to do five slashes here. So I have five terrible. threat, but four security. So just one death then. Yep. Okay. And I crossed over two exclamation points. So I have to take out two, two things. So I will, ooh, four DNA. I will do, let's see. Actually, I will do four DNA and one attraction. Yo, does this mean every single, like every time we do on the tour, like it's just going to keep adding and adding? Yes. Oh, that's harsh. Yeah. So I don't want to make, I want to make sure none of my death is, <laughs> uh, so I have to take, get rid of four. So I'm going to do one, two, three, uh, four. I will do four, and then I have to get rid of one of my stands. So I'm gonna get rid of this merch stand. Ah, merch. That is the uh, death is like very penalizing. Yeah, that's penalizing. I, I, yeah, I did not plan that right. Uh, but that's okay. Say la vie. Yeah, I I didn't either. Say la vie. All right, we're moving on to day two. Doing some drafting. Everyone okay? All right. Yep. Yeah, I like this. This is fun. Okay, so we're, we're it's gonna, I'm gonna have it ramped up a little bit now, okay? Since uh, we kind of went through a first day, we should know how things are going. But please feel free to stop me and ask questions. No, nope, no worries. I, uh, I know what I'm doing now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We've got a red and a purple, zero threat. An orange and a yellow, one threat. Two coins, zero threat. A blue and a road, two threat. 
yellow, one yellow with three threat, a food or a purple with no threat, and two red DNA with two threat. So I will get first choice here. First choice. Holy shit. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know where to go. Um, I need some roads. So I'm going to take this one with the road. And I'm going to utilize the other two roads that I've got. So I'm going to do one, two, and three here. So I'm going to do it like that. So I do utilize those. <gasps> slivers! Hi, 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 hi. Hey, Slivers! Hi, hi, hi. hi, hi, hi. <laughs> All right, Joe. Here we go. We've okay. got yellow and three threat. Red and purple, no threat. Orange and yellow, one threat. Food or purple, no threat. Two red, two threat. Or two coins, no threat. Uh, I will take the coins. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Uh, Benita, you are snake drafting my dear, so you get two. Yeah. Okay, so I missed a few, so I got the... Can you just tell me what's left? Yes. Yellow, three threat. Hold on. Okay, yellow, three threat. Got it. Red and purple, no threat. Okay. Orange and yellow, one threat. Okay. Food or purple, no threat. Hold on, I need to, I can't find that food or purple one, so give me one second. Yeah, it's okay. Some of the faces are not on all the dice, so no worries. Oh, do you think it's, like, on a dice that I already put something else on? Yes. Yeah, uh, I've had that happen. Okay, uh, hold on, let me, let me find this stupid one. And then the other one is two, two red, two threat. Yeah, deadpan security is a thing, so I need to make sure... I don't kill any more people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do not need any more people to die. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I found the food in purple. And what, sorry, <laughs> I might need you to do it one more time because I, okay. I mess them all up. Yellow three threat. Yellow. Give me one second. Uh, oh my God. This is such a mess. I'm trying to like look at the die myself <laughs> no, and okay. I'm my bad. No, you're fine. Okay. Why can't I find it? Okay, I'm just going to remember. Yellow, three threat. Okay. okay. Uh, red and purple, no threat. Red and purple. Let me find that really quickly. Red and purple. Okay. Yellow and orange, one threat. Yellow and orange. Yellow and orange. Do, do, do. Okay. Uh, food or purple, no threat. Okay. And two red and two threat. Yeah, the exclamation point is punishing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I oh, totally you know, host myself. Hi, Giggles. You, you know what, Jess? I'm, I'm looking at your player sheet, so I didn't realize the roads go through everything. That's how you get to them. So I thought you had to draw, like in between the squares so i've been doing that completely wrong so i have this is a one square here so it's connecting yeah i I, I didn't realize you connect the roads to them not just drive by them so i've been doing that completely wrong oh <laughs> yeah sorry my friend if i wasn't okay. clear on that that's uh, okay i just need to have to play this again that's all yeah <laughs> all right i'm gonna take the um attraction or purple dna Yep. And then I'm going to take the hmm three I'm, threat. Three threat. Three I know I should take the three threat. <laughs> Fine, I will take the three yellow. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Is that what you want though? It's okay. Um, you don't. Because there's also the yellow and the orange here, which is one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might take the yellow and orange. <laughs> okay. All right. No, it's fine. That's totally fine. All right, Joe. All right, so what do we got left here? Yellow, three threat. Red and purple, no threat. Uh, two red and two threat. Uh, don't, we don't need three threats, so I'll take the yellow. Jess, the dice that I took, I have to draw the food attraction, right? Correct. Okay. Oh, you have the option, though, B. You can do either food or just take a purple. 
Right, right, right. It's not both. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the red with the double threat. So everyone gets a red and a purple with no threat. You're welcome. Thank you. Yay. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's so kind of you. <laughs> I, know. I know. It's like it's like I'm hosting a stream or something. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. I need to build some flipping dinosaurs here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make myself some dinosaurs. All right. Um, Joe. Let's see. What do I want? What do I want? Okay. You can go ahead, Joe. Okay. Um, well, considering I had to destroy one of my dino pens last turn because I did not play this game correctly, how much threat is on to make dinos die? Uh, two. Yeah, I got to make another pen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Uh, I'm assuming I can build on top of that as well. You can. You'll just take the threat of the one that you're covering. <laughs> And Woo! I will and I will use the yellow die to do that then. Oh you're welcome, oh, Benita. Snap. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so Joe, you are taking you are taking two threat though. Yep, I am taking two threat. Okay. All right, so Benita. Yeah. Damn you, Joe. Damn you. Damn you. Um I will put my I will put my orange and yellow dice on the build and I'm going to build an attraction and I'm going to build a merch stand. Okay. Uh, all right, so I've got two Two dinosaurs. I can build another one if I wanted. I will do a triceratops. The triceratops is going to go here. And that's a red and a blue. And that's one excitement. Okay, I think that's enough. All right, uh, finally for me... I'm going to do, oh jeepers, oh jeepers. I need some security, y'all. So I'm gonna do the security with my final die here. All right, Joe, where would you like your last die? Okay, um, let's see, my last die is coins. Yep. Duplicate them, please. Okay. B, you and I get two coins, my dear. Nice. I'm going to immediately use them for another security. So thank you, Joe. You're welcome. Oh, I forgot that we could do that. Now you can. Nice. All right. B. I have a question. Um, yeah. If I activate the tour guide immediately and I like circle the three on the excitement... I don't, I don't get the bonuses of the excitement track until we do the on tour, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. That's what I thought. Where do you want to put your last die, my dear? Yeah. Give me one second. Sure. I'm trying to decide. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. I'm just going to use that for security. Okay. There is, oh, there's extract DNA, but I don't really want to extract DNA. Um... Let's see. How, what is the oh the threat on the build is one right? Correct. Which I did. Correct. I did that to myself. Yep. Um, I'll just do that. I'll take the one threat. Okay. Because I need to build some roads. Okay. All right. Now we're moving on to the second second drafting second drafting. Joseph, you are drawing first player here. All right. La 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 la. We are about halfway through. I think we can. We think we can bust this out in the next half hour, so it's fine. I think so. I think so. Hi, time roller. Welcome in. Hey, time roller. 
All right. Oh, don't do this to me again. Is it crash? Yeah, I think it crashed again. No! Ah, this is annoying. Joe, yeah, do you, if you want me annoying. to, if you want me to, I can have your player sheet over here, and I can just mark a second player sheet if you want. Uh, I mean, honestly, I've messed this game up so much; it's really not going to make a difference. <laughs> okay, but if you want me to, I can definitely just track your progress over here. Oh, that's so. That's yeah, sad. cause yeah, cause I accidentally put one more threat than I needed to before beforehand. It wouldn't let me undo it, so I've had to destroy roads. And since I don't have any more roads to destroy, it's just kind of frozen. Hmm. Yeah, this I'm not a fan of this app at all. Like, it's if you do something wrong, it's like nope, can't undo it. Oh, there's no undo. That's a bummer. Well, the, it's it's like a selective undo. That's weird. Oh, that yeah. is weird. Okay, well, do you want me to... I can definitely jot down what your progress is. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, tell me on here, what do you got? Oh, you can you could just look at my screen. You can see what's there. Oh, duh. <laughs> here we go. All right, so I've got and... some roads from your HQ. One... Yeah, so those roads actually should not be destroyed because I have because I accidentally did one more threat than I should have. That pen is definitely destroyed though. Okay, so the one in the right next to the uh, three points that's a destroyed pen. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. It's a three by three, and that's destroyed. And I'll put the road here. All right, then in the upper left, you've got a, uh, which, which, uh, That's, uh dinosaur? The, upper, the upper left is a Triceratops pen with two in it. Triceratops, you've got two, okie doke. And, and then, then the other is a Brachiosaurus pen with three. Okay, Brachiosaurus with three. So we've got one, two. Yep, and then let me see if I can... One, yeah, two, let me see three. if I can write all this stuff down and see if I can catch up again. Pen near me. All right, and uh, can you read out what your uh, what DNA you have remaining, Joe? Um, I have I have three unused purples. Okay. I've used one teal. Okay. Two blue. Two blue that are used. Yep. Okay. Five red that are used. Okay. And four yellow that are used. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yep. And your threat, you should have. Uh, threat, I sh threat, I should have six threat, and I have four security. All right. One, two, three, four secured. Okie doke. And any of your specialists do you have marked? Um. Uh, let's see which four. Uh, I have the security chief. Okay. Um, I had one into the tour guide. Okay. And five coins into the uh, security building. Five coins into the security hub. Okay. One, two, All right. three, four, five. We got you. We got you. Okay, cool. We're, we're that... making this work. <laughs> yep. All right, so let me restart the app again and play catch up, and hopefully it won't crash a third time. So, yeah, for, for you folks out there, don't use the app, because if you make a mistake, you can't undo it. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, now we've got for uh, everybody for this next round, Bonita, we've got one coin and two threat. Okay. Uh, a blue and a purple with one threat. Blue and a purple. 
I like finding this on the die is so hard. Yeah, <laughs> especially when possible? they're not duplicated faces on a, all of them. Yeah. Blue and purple. Blue and purple. This is like its own mini game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just going to remember it's blue and purple because I feel like we cannot find it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a road and a red with two threat. Okay, okay. A blue with three threat. Yikes. Okay. A road with a yellow and two threat. Why did I just put like single ones with a three threat? It seems not the greatest. I don't know. That's okay. just brutal. It's just brutal. Yeah. Uh, security or one orange with one threat. And three, uh, 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 excuse me, one teal with two threat. Okay. All right. Joseph, you are first choice, my friend. Okay. How's the app going? Did it restart for you? Uh, yep, it restarted for me. Now I just got to put everything back in it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We got this. Okay, so hold on. So I got five yellow. I got to do. Uh, we got four yellow that you used, five red that you've used, two blue that you've used, one teal that you've used, and uh, okay. three unused purple. Okay, four yellow, five red, two blue, two blue, one teal, one teal, and three, three purple. purple. Okay, so I got that. You have okay. six threat and four security. Okay. Well, hold on. I have to. I have to build the. I have to build these things correctly so everything actually works out. So I got to build a Velociraptor pen there. All right, and then. Oh yeah, that was your Velociraptor pen that you destroyed. Yep. Then I have to get enough threat to destroy it. Okay, do that. Okay. Uh, well, let me choose what I want here. Okay. Um, I will take... Okay, is there any roads on those dice? Yes, there's one here with a red. Or one here with a yellow. Um, I will take the road and the yellow. Okay. Benita. <sighs> Um, let's see. I will take the road and the red. Okay. It's going, Quaid. We have realized that if you mess up on the phone app, it doesn't like it to undo. So be warned if you use the phone app. Yeah. <laughs> Poor yeah, Joe make sure, has had make, a... Make sure, uh, yeah, make sure your, your choices are what you want to do, because in some cases you cannot undo. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take the security with the orange to give myself more security here. And then my second drafting, I'm going to take, I will be nice and I'll take the blue with the three threat on it. So now back to Bonita. I will take the one coin with a two threat. Okay. And Joe, would you like a purple and a blue with one threat? Or a teal with two threat. Um, I will take. I will take the it's purple and a blue. You said yes. Yep, I'll take that one. All right, so all of us get a teal and two threat. Yikes! Yeah, that's not good. Okay, you start us off, Joseph, on the placement. Okay. Too much threat. Too much threat, y'all. <laughs> uh, let me see. I am. I'm gonna do roads with the purple and blue die. Alrighty, Bonita. Um, I'm gonna do make up to four dinosaurs with my one die. One coin die. 
Okay, what am I gonna do here? Um, let's see, what am I gonna do here? It's like, do I make the like do the purple dinosaurs, or do I make the like the wish give me threat but more points? Or do yeah, I make that's the choice, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do the raised funds, give myself some more security. Yeah, it, it is true, Quay. There are some instances where it will allow you to undo, and other instances where you cannot. Yeah. So that's a, unfortunate. Joseph, back to you. Uh, back to me. All right. I am going to... Da, 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 da. I don't need any more threat, but I'm not going to have a choice. Well, I have one more question, so sorry. Uh, for the going on tour for the road, it doesn't have to be like a linear path. My Jeep can go like up one and down to the left and down to the right. Uh, right? yes, yeah, so it cannot backtrack though when you go on your tour. Oh, shit. Okay, so that... it has to be in a continuous line. Ooh, that um... really impacts how I draw stuff. Okay, good to know. Uh, I guess I'm going to extract DNA with the other one. Okay. And Joe, I am sending you on Discord the screenshots of the two player sheets. Thank you. If you would like to, if you want to just doodle. Yep. All right, back to me. Back to me. Oh, look! Ha ha! With my final die, I'm duplicating my two security. <laughs> so you all get a security. Oh, thank you. Or a DNA. Or Ooh, DNA. yeah. Yay, security. I'll take that. I just drew, I just um, built three petron domes. Yeah. So I'm about to just have so much thread. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. One, two. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. But I got six assignment, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, B, where did you want to place your last one? Um, woo, everything is taken, huh? How, what's a threat? Oh, on I'm the... sorry. I actually, I actually went out of turn. So hold on. You go first. That one's open. Which one's open? The uh, duplicate. Oh, so we don't get the one security. I I went out of turn. I apologize. Oh, okay. So it would not have gotten the one security. Okay, let me just. Oh my god, my eraser sucks. Uh, one second. Why did I forget? Um, well, how much is a threat for the raise funds? Three. Oof, that's harsh. Uh, okay, then let's just do duplicate. Okay. And the duplicate is um two. It's it's a red and a road. So you guys get that. Okay. So I get two okay. red and two roads. I will do a road here. So I'm not going to use that. All and then a right. red. And I will actually, I will still duplicate. I will take the two threat. It's fine. So, so it's a red in, red in the road for the duplication yeah. we're getting? Yeah. Okay. So then you all get the choice of either a security or a orange. Oh, okay. I went cool. back to the same spot. Oof, I really desperately need security. All right, we are running our park again. So, if my, I believe, if my merch is destroyed, I don't get the special bonus because it's not there anymore, I would think. I would assume so. I would say. Yeah, if that pan is still in chat, but let us know. Yeah. I think so. Losing an attraction, you no longer gain the income from it. Yep, that's right. Okay, so that's out of play. Bloop. So if anyone has any merch, uh, let I me do. Know. I, I have down. a merch. You have one, Bonita. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Your. Give me some security. Uh, one red. <laughs> one red DNA. All I right. don't need that, but okay. <laughs> do you have a merch, Joe? 
I do not have a merch. Okay, I don't anymore. Uh, for a ride, I have one ride, so I will get one excitement. Any rides that you have, get the excitement. Uh, and then any food stands you have, give yourself the coins. Cool, I have two food. So give yourself those two coins. Next, we're going for our specialists. So activate your security chiefs, your tour guides, your junior scientists, or any of these here. And it's just one. Like, like so my security chief just gets one extra thing, right? Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, once we got that, let me know. Then we can run our parks, run our tours. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'm starting again at HQ. I went here on that first tour, so I don't get additional excitement for the food stand. But now I have a road connected to this security hub, so I will get, or this uh, break room, so I will get one excitement there. I drive continuing on to my T Rex pen, so that's two excitement. And then I end the Triceratops pen, so I have three excitement for that tour. Okay, one, so two, for me, three. I'll show you guys. I kind of went the opposite direction of last time. That's fine, B. So I go from the food to the merch to some dinos. So that's three new extractions. So that's yep. three. Yep. Perfect. Joe, how you doing over there? All right, cool. I think I'm. I think I'm finally caught up. <laughs> okay. Nice. Now I just gotta, I have to be careful about what I'm tapping so I don't mess yeah. this up again. <laughs> don't, don't just slap it like a toddler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you slapping toddlers? <laughs> well, I, I think I think it didn't help that I, I haven't played this game before. So when I yeah. like make a mistake, I'm like, oh, I can't undo that because I confirmed it. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I just need to be careful. All right. Uh, and thank you, and thank you for uh, being a good spirits about it, Joe, for like- Oh, no worries. It, it happens. I appreciate that. Okay, so now we've gone through our tour. Now we collect our excitement bonuses. So I've got one, two bonus of basic DNA. So um, nope. Jess, yes. I was able to connect it to the two, like the three and the five. So like on the exit, so I circled those, right? Correct, and those are end game points. Okay, so, so then, I'm at one, 16 two. excitement. So I get all of the things yes. I circled? Yes, yes, my okay. dear. Wow. Yes, yes, okay. yes. So I have two, and I'm going to use those two coins to chuck for my additional security. Ba -ba. And then I have one more security here. So I will do this. Okay. Yeah, that's right. As long as her, her tour ended... With the building, yeah, the way she drew it, deadpan, she has her buildings butted up against an exit, so. Yep. See, I'll, sh I'll show you again so yeah. you can all see. They're yep. literally butted right up against the, the exit. exit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for clarifying, deadpan. I appreciate that, and I'm sure B does, too. Yeah. Okay. So we've got our excitement. We've got all that. Let's check our threat. And what? dag, nabbit, I don't. Wait, what is this last one? Is this one a security? Oh, this is a security. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. I don't yeah, have hold on. I'm, dead I, people. Give me one second. I am still. I have no more dead people. Oh, that's, that's good. awesome. I uh, this is gonna be a problem. uh no deadpan. I don't have a road here connected, so I stopped at the triceratops here. So I just went bloop 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 there. Oh, Bonita, he's asking where did you end your building for this last tour. You ended it on the five exit. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, but it. Oh, I didn't end it. It just like it went here and here. Oh, okay, so it went from your headquarters to those two buildings. Yeah. And then out and out that five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You're good. It doesn't need to end at an exit, right? It does not need to. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 All right, Joe. You good? I'm good. No more dead people, friends. I have no more dead people. I'm all secured. Woo! Um, I am 
finishing up the HQ stuff. So give me one second. Yep. Okay, so I have two threats that have not don't have circles in it. Okay, so cross so, off the next two in line on your death toll. Oh, I hate that. Okay, so I I passed a exclamation thing. point. Yeah. So you have to what choose one of the penalties. I'm gonna get rid of. Oh, this is so this is so punishing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of four DNA. Yeah. I think that's probably the least. Yeah. Harsh. Yep. We got a dead pan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Yep. Mm. Yeah, that's that's gonna hurt. All right. Here we go. All righty. B, let me know when you're ready, my dear. Uh, um. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, we've got a single orange with two threat. Okay. Two coins with no threat. Ooh, lucrative. One coin with two threat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One coin and one red with one threat. Okay. Two security and no threat. Okay. One purple, two threat. And okay. one red, three threat. Okay. I want the two security, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even surprised. No. Uh, but it is not your draft, though, B. It's mine. Oh! No! 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 <laughs> oh no! I don't. I, I something tells you you're not getting that security, Benita. I have. Uh, no, I don't need. Security. I actually, I don't need security. So <laughs> I actually don't. So I'm gonna take this one coin and one red. But then it's Joe's turn, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, it's my turn, and uh, I'm going to build a gigantic dinosaur next turn. So, uh, yeah, sorry, B. Yeah, it's figured. <laughs> but you know what, B? You could take the two coins and immediately get at least a security. Yeah, I'm going to take the two coins. And then your second die? Um, my second die will be one coin. Okay. Joseph? I will take the other coin. Uh, Benita took both. Yeah. Oh, she took both coins. Yep. Oh, yeah. dang it. Oh, oh, that's not because I'm watching because I'm watching the stream and not Streamyard. Now that I can see in real time. Uh, da, 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 da. So orange, I, purple, or red? I will. Uh, what's got the most threat on it? The red. I'll take the red. Yeah. James, it's not about what you need, Jess. It's about what they need. I know, but I don't Wait, know what Jess, I mean. Wait, Jess, Deadpan is saying I have to end at an exit? I can't pass it? No, you it? can. You can. Uh, your your tour does not have to go to an exit. It could stop at a building. Okay. Okay, as long as my, yeah. as long as the road and the building is a, next to the three, yeah. that's fine. I can, yeah. all the, po yep, at the yep, end yep. of the game, it's fine. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. All okay. right, I yeah. am taking, I am taking an orange, so all of us will get a purple and two threat. Purple and two threat. Oh, come on. Why are you giving me more threat? That was left. It was either two threat or two threat. So, all right. Okay. Uh, I need to build some dinosaurs. I need to build some dinosaurs. No, do I need to build some dinosaurs? No, I need to build roads, actually. I need to build roads. So I'm going to do this here. And build my three roads. So I'm going to go one, two, and a three, like that. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Uh, Joe. I am going to make some dinos with the red die, please. Mm. Is that the one with the three threat? Yes. Oh, come on, Joe. <laughs> hey this app has given me a hell of a time with, with, with the way it works so the least i can do is offer some threat <laughs> the least you can do offer some threat all right benita 
Um. Let's. Ooh. Let's um. Let's uh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> do I want to build an attraction or do I want to raise merch? Questions upon questions. Let's put the two money and raise funds. Okie doke. Uh, all right. I am going to. I don't want to build. Dang it, Joseph. Dang it. All right. I'm doing <laughs> duplicate with my two orange. So you all get one orange DNA. Thanks. One orange DNA. Okay. I have a crap ton of DNA now. All right. Uh, Jill, where you want to go? Are you threatening me, says Tyler? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly right. Is that a threat? Uh, let's see. There's no threat on the that two coin die, right? Nope. Cool. I'm gonna take two coins. Okay. Bonita. Well, what did Joe put on there? Zero threat on the raise funds. Okay. Um. Oh, Joe, you're killing me. Um, I'm gonna put the. Remember, we also have we have one more drafting round before. So if you don't want to build dinos this turn, B, you can wait. Yeah. Um. What is the threat on the build action? One. Uh, let's put my one on the raise funds. That's no threat, right? Correct. Okay, so I'll just take the coins. Okie doke. Do, 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 do. Let's do the thing. Joseph, you are first player now. Alrighty, ready. So I just was able to build the welcome center. So how do I just mark that off now? So uh, it's building A, Benita. So you're going to go here on the wrench, fill in the bubble yeah. for building A. Okay. okay. Then you're going to construct this polyomino somewhere in your park. Okay. Then you're immediately gaining one excitement, one security, and one road. Okay. All right. Here we go. Penultimate round, friends. Penultimate round. All right. Okay. I'm going to try to roll some good stuff. I can't guarantee. Just need something with a road. All right, Joe. Uh, there are no roads. No, boo. <laughs> on this one. We've got orange with two threat. Okay. Teal with two threat. Okay. Teal and red with one threat. A ride with one threat. A food or a purple with no threat. A purple and a blue with one threat. And a blue with three threat. Oh, man. No coins at all. All DNA. All DNA or a ride or a food stand. Uh, let's see. Will a ride... Yeah. I'm going to take... I'm going to take the ride. Okay. Uh, okay, what's what is available to me? So orange, two threat. Okay. Teal, two threat. Okay. Red and teal, one threat. Uh, that one's I know that's a tricky one to try to find. Yeah. Right? Because it's just like it's okay, red and teal, I just remember that. Okay. Okay. Food or purple, no threat. Purple and blue, one threat, or blue with three threat. Um, I'll take the food and purple. Okay, so it's an or. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I meant, sorry, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. All right, for me, I'm going to do doubles. I will be nice. I will take the blue with the three threat, 
and the teal and red with the one thread. I am just racking in the DNA here, folks. Okay. Back to you, Benita. Okay, so I got the teal, the orange, and then the... Blue and purple together. Blue and purple. Well, I'll just take the blue and purple. Okie doke. Joe, orange or teal and two threat? Um, orange and teal with two threat. I'll take the teal. Okay. So then all of us get one orange and two threat. Ugh, jeez. All right, Joe, start us off on placement. Okay. Um, I will build with the teal. Okay. Gave yourself some roads, huh? Yep. All right, Benita. Um, I will. I will um make up to four dinosaurs with the purple and blue. Okay. Shoot. Dang it. I also want to make I also need to make dinosaurs, so I'm gonna take a threat there. Oof. That's not good. Alright, but I'm going to build me some dinosaurs. Build me some dinosaurs. Okay, let's do here. Ankylosaurus. All right, Joe. One. Um, okay. I will raise funds with my other die. Okay, very nice. Um, let's see. And I will do this here. Brachiosaurus. One, two. That's one. Benita. Yeah, I haven't even like done my <laughs> make the four dinosaurs yet. It's like so I got really pay attention. Um for the roads, is there any threat? This one has two threat. Oh. Um Is there any threat for the raise funds? Uh one. Uh, I will put a dice on the raise funds. Okay. Let's pick the threat, and then I'll just do the other stuff. Okay. SB girl. Okay. She's oh, SB, what's she girl. doing? What is, what is the doggo doing? Let's see. What is she doing? Hold on. Thank you, Tan, for that redemption. I will go grab her in just a sec. I got to finish making my dinosaurs. My dinosaurs. This yeah, is... I haven't made my dinosaurs yet either. There we go. Four dinosaurs. All right. Uh, then with my final one. Uh, security. Oh, there's no there's no threat on the security one. Awesome. Okay. I will do that then. <laughs> security. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Benita. All right. I'm going to go grab the SB girl. I will be right back. And there's so much going on. I know. <laughs> I just wish I would have played the first phase of the game right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay. I got it now. Now you know how. Now you know how to do it. That's right. I think I think I made up for my mistake, but I don't think I'm going to win. You never know. Ugh, I need so many more roads. I I know no, knowing that you actually connect the buildings to roads, like it makes them so much more sense to me. Because I'm like, if you need to do all these roads in between buildings, there is not enough roads to get. So that's what that's yeah. what confused me in the beginning. But now that I know you have to connect them, I'm like, oh, okay, this is easy now. <laughs> <laughs> Do I want to build another dino? Uh, 
Oh, sounds like we got us a puppers. Do I want to build another dinosaur? Hmm. <laughs> She's trying. I can hear her try. <laughs> She's trying so hard. I love it. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Pets can be so stubborn. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Etsy's just being playful at this point. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so we can cute. hear you trying. <laughs> Oh, there we go. We have a doggo. Oh my goodness. Sorry, friend. She's uh I gave her her <laughs> treat bone and now she's like, oh, I have to perform? I have to do things now? There yeah. she is. <laughs> Hello, puppers. There Hi. she is. I gave her a treat bone and then she's like, Oh, I go bury it, right? Okay. There she is. All right, Tan. So Sorry that took forever. Uh so there you go. <laughs> Thank you That's for so the adorable. Lurk. Thanks, Tan. All right. Uh, there's reasons why you're a cat person. Yeah, okay. Understood. <laughs> Understood. All right. Does everybody yeah. have all of their stuff? I think so. Yep, okay. I think so. All right. Yeah. We are in the final tour. We are touring, everybody. We are That's touring. Right. Uh, yes. And thank you, everybody, for the lurk. Lurk and work, all that. I really need stuff. to get some roads. <laughs> Where get some roads? Okay. Get the roads. Here we go. Attractions. If you've got attractions, do the thing. I need to merch right. these. All right. Here we go, B. Roll it up. You get either a merch stand or an orange DNA. Great. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded so like just deflating. Well, Great. Well, hey, if you, if you get a merch stand, you get to roll another die, don't you? Yeah, yeah. let's right. Yeah. Then I'm gonna no. I think so. Okay, okay. then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw another merch stand somewhere. So give All me right. another die. All right, here we go. And you get one coin and a yellow DNA. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, hey, Joe. That's ha that's half a road. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Joe. Do you have anything? Uh, ju I just have a ride, so I got my excitement. All right, and one excitement for me as well. I have one food stand too, so I get a coin. Woohoo! Oh, awesome, cool. All right, then we activate our specialists. So activate your security chiefs, your tour guides, your scientists, or any of these lovely folks. I yeah. don't have any of yeah. them. Yeah, all good. I mean, I'm getting like these DNA things. I'm like, well, this is useless. <laughs> right. Yeah. At the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, you can turn them in for points, so it's two for one at the end of the game. Oh, okay. That's good. At so, least they're they're worth something. A half a point each. All right. Let's. Uh, after we do all our specialists, everyone good on your specialists? Yep. Benita, you okay, my dear? Uh, I'm still working on them, so give me a second because I was able sure. to activate all sure, of sure, them. Sure. 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 So. Sure. You're good. You're good. Yeah. And like I said, friends, I know this has taken, you know, the, the, the good part of the two hours, but I swear once you learn the mechanics and like the order of operations, it'll go by like super fast. Yeah. Um, Cause I was able to make two dinosaurs. So by being, making able to make two dinosaurs, um, I had to trigger other stuff. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I think, 
Oh, made the road, made up to two dinosaurs. Okay, yes, I activated yeah. all my specialists. Oh, yeah. and Dude, awesome! You, right when you've raid. done that, we've got another raid. Hello, friend oh, Solo hey. Presents. Welcome yeah. in. I am joined by the lovely Benita and Joe, aka Phantom Meeple. We are playing hello, Dinosaur hello. Island Roar and Right. It is the uh, uh, it's a chunky roller, right? We are just in the final phase of it before final scoring, but I hope you all are doing well. Yeah. Flynn, how was your uh, how was your stream, my dear? He says, it's Monday, I gotta raid you. Yeah, and I, I'm, it's so funny, friends, how you like learn about people, like what they post online and like interacting with them um, on like social media and stuff. I did not know that Flynn was an avid board gamer. I've always seen him stream video games. So oh. when he showed recently on Instagram, he had like a shelfie and like, here's a recent game that I purchased. And he has like wonderful titles of board games behind <laughs> him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you love board games. And he's like, I totally do. And so it was like, it was so, <laughs> so awesome to, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Hello, Blue Meeple Girl says he yeah. has, he's a huge board gamer. So there you go. Um, awesome. Yeah. It says, I mean, I can, I can definitely understand that. I mean, I started out primarily streaming video games, and now I'm here. Yeah, see? So my, just, yeah, um, I started off streaming video games, too, with, like, the year ago. Now I, I just stream board games, so it's definitely wild. Yeah, it's, but it's so awesome to, like, see that connectivity, yeah. you know? And you're like, wow. Like, I found out about him uh, watching him play through some of the Marvel video games and stuff, and I was yeah. just, like, really fascinated no, that's by awesome. it. Um, but, yeah. He said, the stream was good. We defeated Dormammu. Awesome. Uh, that's a, a villain from Doctor Strange in the Marvel Cinematic Fun. Universe. Yeah. And uh, they, the guy from the Dark Dimension. Even the guy from the Dark Dimension. Nice. <laughs> uh, Blue Meeple Girl says, we bought way too many board games at the UK Games Expo. Is that a thing? Is that really a thing to buy way too Never many board too games? Many no. Games. No, no such thing as too many games. games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this Roar and Write is awesome. Yes! Uh, so I am super glad to be walking through it. It is a uh, first time play for both Benita and Joe. So we are kind of uh, taking our time. We're going through baby steps and we are just in the final phase, like I said, running through our park for the final time before we do uh, end game scoring. But thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, Blue People Girl says, I literally posted this game on my Instagram earlier. Ha, I love it. Awesome. Uh, board gaming will be coming soon to my stream once I sort uh, my setup. Yes, and if you ever need and guests, Flynn, yeah. you know where to find yeah. us. You know where to yeah. find us. And uh, I'll tell you what, once you stream board games once, you'll you never go back. start doing it more never go and back. more, and you're never going to go back. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me on this one. <laughs> uh, awesome sauce. All right, so we've got our specialists activated. Friends, we're all good on that. Yep. All yep. right, let's go through our HQs here, starting off our tours. So I already went through here and here, but I went through the ride. I built two roads here, so I'm kind of doing a loop-de-loop. -loop, so I have one excitement for this ride. I already saw the T-Rex. I already saw the Triceratops. I did not see the Brachiosaurus, so I've got two excitement there, and I ended on an exit. So two excitement for those two new buildings. Okay, so this is what I did. I am adding more stuff, but now my people are going to see the Welcome Center, see some, get some food before seeing some more Triceratops. Unfortunately, the Velociraptors and Merch Stands are just like hanging out there, yeah. but you know. <laughs> They're under construction. They're like Under waving. construction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he needs to get on with it. I'm Flynn's partner, by the way. Oh, hello. Welcome oh. in. Oh, hi. Thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, sharing that with us. That's really cool. So I hope both of you are having a lovely Monday. Also, um, Blue Meeple yeah. Girl, that Blue Meeple is my Meeple color. In yes. Fact, it's like so part of me that I have a Blue Meeple pillow. Yes. Nice. I love and, it. Yeah. And in my logo, which let me just post, is also I'm holding a Blue Meeple. Yeah. <laughs> I love Blue Meeples too. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yay. So I love it. I love this connectivity. And that why is, is the amazing. Master Chef so angry? Um, well, all, all, aren't all Master Chefs like super angry in the kitchen? Yeah, Gord, Gordon Ramsay, enough said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay for the Blue Meeples. Yay. Yeah. That's I love awesome. Blue Meeples too. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So there we go. We ran through our parks. Now let's count our excitement. Again, remember, friends, it's cumulative. 
Um, so oh, count yeah, we up get, all uh, your extra stuff. You said stuff. we can turn in DNA for what exactly? You get you get for every two DNA at the end of the game. B, you get one point. Wow, that's of cool. any type. It doesn't have to be advanced or basic. It's any type. So I get one, two basic, two basic, and one advanced DNA. Oh, geez, I have coins at the end and nothing to spend them on. <laughs> one, two, spend them on security, Joe. Oh, I've, I've got plenty of it. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three, so I will do one here. Yeah, I don't need a security anymore. <laughs> for two security. And I will do the other two for that last security, so everything is secured. Thank you. Then I've got Ooh, one more code. One, two more security. Awesome. That I don't need, but it's okay. My park is finally secured. And there we go. That's all the bonuses I've got for that. And no death. No okay. death here no either. Death. No death. Yes, no no death. death is always a good thing. And no death for me either on this run. All right. So final scoring, how it's going to work down here. We are going to count each dinosaur in, yes, yeah, the to no death in the dinosaur types that you have. So each of the bubbles next to your dinosaur types, friends, that will give you those points there. So for me, I've got five of the green ones. So times two, so I get 10 points there. Okay. I did not do any purple dinosaurs, which is really odd for me. Um, I did, oh, I did a Spinosaurus, I forgot. I did not mark that one. So I have two of those big guys for 10. And then any of the specialists that you got gives you three bonus points. So I have just my security chief for three. Including the specialists on your the board too, Correct. right? Correct. So, okay. Yep. Any of the buildings you activated. So I have this building here. Three points per merchand merch per uh what is that? What does that chain mean? What does that chain mean? Deluxe break room. Score three per attraction of any type that is connected to this building. Oh, cool. Okay, so I only have well, one. Well, her sheets are laminated. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are, Flynn, because I'm a nerd like that, and I play way too many roll and rights to waste paper. <laughs> hey, I do I do the same thing. My, my yeah, I laminate behind them, it is you laminate your sheets, and then, like, 20 years from now, when these games are out of print, you're still playing. Yep. There you go. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and I also you got used your to laminate play rates. Um, yeah, so I have the welcome center, so it's two per pen. It doesn't have to be connected pen, right? Correct. Does see pen? Correct. So I got, I got yeah, because see, mine was animals. chained. That means it had to be connected to the building, so I only scored one for my food stand. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, uh, I need a laminator. And Boo Beeble's like, we have one, Flint. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Nice. Yeah, it's super, it's super convenient. I have so many more um, games now that I'm realizing I need to laminate. Um, but it's hard to, sometimes with this, with the tabletop view, it can get kind of a glare. So I'm glad this one doesn't seem too bad for you all today. Yeah. Um, oh, no, it's broken. Oh, no. <laughs> it says it's broken. <laughs> All right, oh, so funny. then on the excitement track, you will see, friends, on the rows next to it, whatever row is the where you have your last circle indicated is the row of those victory points. What's the middle one between the excitement and the blue? Is the exit numbers. So if you got through an oh. exit, Benita, whatever those stars are, you add those okay. stars together. I feel like you and Deadpan are saying separate things, so I need to confirm which exit points do I get? So just passing them, do I also get them? They're still connected, but I'm Did not you ending end my tour? tour. If you're not ending your tour by passing it, then no. You have to end your tour at an exit. So that would be your final final location on that tour in order to score those points. So like for me here, Benita, I have my ride that I pass by this seven, but I'm continuing on my tour this way. So I don't score these exit points here. I only score these exit points down here. So you have to end your tour. At end your exit. tour at the exit in order to score those points. So continuing on does not count. Continuing on does not count. 
even though I have a thing that, even though my buildings butt up against the exit. If you ended your tour on that turn from that last building, if you did not continue on, if you stopped your tour at that building, then yes, you would get those exit. You would get those okay. exit points. So but I think for me, I didn't on. get the three and five because my first one, I ended at the four. So I would get that. Yeah. But my second tour, I ended, I got the three and five, but I ended it at this pen where there is no exit. So I wouldn't. You would not get exit points on that turn. No. But then I scored at the 10. So yep. I ended at yep, the yep, yep. Okay. So I get 14 there. Yep. You have to exit the park in order to score. That's what Deadpan's saying. Yep. Man, I, I drew it purposely so I would end at all the exits. <laughs> and you're telling me all that hard work to get the eight, the five, and the three are useless? Oh, no. Unless you ended your tours those three times, B. Did you end your tours those three times at those three spots? No, because no, okay. I was drawing yeah. more stuff. Yeah. So that's <laughs> that. That's for future. And yes, Blue, Ma uh, Blue Meeple Girl, you are correct. You only you will only score each exit once per game. Yeah. So it's okay. It's a learning game. There's yeah. a little big asterisk on this game. Totally fine. Okay. So then on your excitement track here, you will see the numbers on this right hand side. I ended my my excitement ended over here on the six, so I would score six. If you started down here, if your excitement continued on to this third row, you would get ten. Down to the so fourth row, do you get even though it's not completed, I still get even the though it's not completed. And once you start a new row, you gain the normal, the normal stuff. Cool. All right. And if you have any more sixty-one or more bonus it, uh, excitement, you gain more points that way. But that's uh, that's really stretching it. If you're really good, Man, I normally go straight for the big number X. Sixty-one excitement. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it can be done, I guess, because that's why they have it marked, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, so every two DNA, you will get a point. Cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I will get six points there. Every death marked minus mm -hmm. points. I have minus five. Ouch. That first day was rough, y'all. That first day was rough. Oh, every death marked is, is negative point. Every box marked. Oosh, okay. Every box marked is a minus point. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Add them up. I don't think I did very, very high this time around, but I was teaching and also making sure you all are understanding. So I feel, <laughs> give myself an asterisk on this game too. 10, 20, 36, 39, 42, 48, minus five is 43. Okay. Yeah. I got 72. Nice. Joe. I got 52. Nice. That is awesome, y'all. Jess, what'd you get? I got 43. Nice. So, Gigi. It's because you were such an excellent teacher. Oh, gosh. Thank you. I will. Yeah, you know, I will you, know give you taught myself... a game well if your students win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will also give myself kudos for um, teaching you three sisters, Benita, at like midnight. <laughs> You so. did. Yeah. You <laughs> teach me all the rural rights. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, friends. That is Dinosaur Island, the Roaring Rights. Um, and I know y'all have to like head out, but before we do, I want you all to kind of share my, my, my lovely guests, where you'll be streaming and uh, where folks can find you on the interwebs, starting with Benita. Hi, I'm Benita Kaur. I'm a board game Twitch streamer. Um, I will be streaming um, tonight, actually, in a few hours at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be streaming Carnegie, um, which is a heavy Euro game, which I'm very excited about. I'll be streaming with Brain, uh, Brandon Ajar and Johnny Deathlock. But yeah, I'm a board game Twitch streamer. I stream every Mondays and Wednesdays. Summer is a little chaotic, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited and thank you for having me on. I this was a really this is a fun it's a heavier role in right, so I'm yes. finally glad I finally learned how to play it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out with us today. Bea. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, Joe, where can folks find you and what do you have coming up, sir? Yep. So uh, once again, I'm Joe, aka Phantom Meeple. You can find me over on my channel on Tuesdays and Fridays at 4:30 p.m. Pacific 
uh, Tuesdays is my video game days. Fridays is board game days. Uh, this week is a theme week. It's going to be escape room week. So that's going to be super fun. On Tuesday, uh, my wonderful partner, the Baker Meeple, and I will be playing the Fort Boyard video game, which we are terrible at, but it is super fun. Uh, on Friday, we're going to be doing uh, Exit the Game, Dead Men on the Orient Express. Ooh, and, uh, that's a fun also, one. That's also a real fun one. Yeah, and then also unintentionally on Thursday for the Panda and Phantom show over on Amanda's channel at 1 p.m. Pacific, we're going to be playing Escape from the Haunted Mansion Scooby-Doo by the Op. Oh, that's a good one. I've played that. I really like it. Yep, and then uh, also, let's see, also this week, uh, on Thursday, over on Rolling and Rock's channel at 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, he, I, and Dutch Yoda are going to be, play be playing the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. That's going to be super fun. Rad. Uh, game is so fantastic. I played it this last weekend, and it is absolutely amazing. So many so, uh, games. Yeah. So yeah. many and, things, uh, friends. Yeah, so Wednesday... I was supposed to be playing this with Benita, and I totally got my dates mixed up. <laughs> uh, so Wednesday, it'll either be Tiny Epic Dinosaurs or uh, the new Demeter or Varuna. I don't know. We'll see. It'll, it'll be something dinosaur-themed. Stay tuned for that, friends. Wednesday here on this channel at 11 p.m. Pacific time. That's 8 p.m. Central European time. But until then, I'm going to send you all on a raid train to the wonderful Ruel Gaviola. He is streaming for uh, Gaviola Game Night with his lovely wife michelle and their puppies so uh, i will head over to them so until bye. next time friends stay safe awesome. be kind to one another and we'll catch you on the next one bye, bye